10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes where he was finding his feet, he started to relax, started to oh. let the arm loose, and then, you know, there's no stopping him. He really started to control center court, control the tempo of the rallies, made his opponent run from left to right, and the outcome became obvious. He was hitting, the, he seems to be hitting the ball harder and harder, doesn't he? I one think my foot would have hurt, I think, if I was Yeah, I mean, uh, one of the things he's been doing on uh, on passing shots is, is not always looking to go for the, the winner with the first shot, and especially against the big player, he's going straight down the middle. And for some of these big guys, it's much easier to lunge to the side rather than get out of the way when it comes at you. He then gets an easier shot for the second one to, to really pick them off. And you see the way he's picked his way through the draw there. Um, played five times breaks and won all five mm. um, when it's been you know a little bit tight he's been able to raise his level I think standout moment was against Raonic she was three love down in the third set tie break double break and I think he hit sort of five wow. forehand winners and likewise against Burdich I thought Burdich deserved a lot of credit he played mm. some fantastic tennis with no real reward um, he really hung in well and, and was able to impose his game but uh, as I think Boris said um, you know Federer just had extra gears to go to yeah and also when you look at his year he's only dropped two uh, only lost two matches and in those matches he had match points I mean it, this is this is almost superhuman I mean you it? said the numbers came and we couldn't emphasize enough the very fact all the records he's broken I mean you're talking about you know tough competition you're talking about everybody is pretty much younger than him and yet he finds ways to win and to win easily and to can do it on a consistent week in week out basis on every surface apart from clay it's just just impossible to fathom because you think where is he going to go now we thought it was impossible to reach 18 for him now he's done 18 and 19 back to back was it be 20 at the open <laughs> where is he going to go you wouldn't bet against <laughs> it would you boris you, you played for a number of years how difficult is it to maintain that sort of level year after year after year because we're going back to you know to the early 2000s I think the secret is his family life I think his wife and, and the kids and the whole family background is his supporting base I think he couldn't do what he does now without them and he's, he's the first one to embrace that and I think that's the that's you know maybe the struggle with some of the other players that they're trying to you know uh, please everybody but but Roger has found the perfect timing on you know when he's a tennis player when he's the daddy when he's the husband and when he's the family man I think that's the real reason why he's still so successful but we've seen how just how much effort the players have to put in with training we've seen it with Murray you know with Djokovic with Nadal I mean, how does Federer find that time you know so, so busy but I mean, he's putting in as many hours as they are if not more yeah and, uh, most definitely and I think sometimes because when Federer goes out on the court he makes it look so easy that the technique is is effortless people sort of take for granted the the training that he does and and he's as meticulous and and you know at the age of 35 he knows what works for him so you know I've seen him around the the, uh, the locker rooms doing all the different exercises for his lower back that he can struggle with um, can struggle with his his shoulder as well obviously with all the serving that he's doing um, but I, th I think fundamentally I think Boris is right with the family life but also he loves what he does you know when he's out on the court when he's practicing I saw him practice uh, the week before the tournament with Burdich actually and he was having so much fun out there so it's not this is his hobby it's not his job <laughs> and uh, you know if it stays that way then there's no reason why he can't you know keep playing I don't want to put a time frame on it we were talking about what was it It was the the Olympics in Rio oh he's gonna stop after that well <laughs> I think we need to check where the next few Olympics are going to be yeah and also you know he, he won uh, here last year in 2012 and to, to go so long without a Grand Slam title you know mm. it would be very easy to walk away a very easy I'm sure he's the first one to admit that he had serious doubts uh, whether he can win one more you know let alone two more uh, and, and again the question is ultimately uh, ultimately how much do you love your sport how much you love to compete how much you love the lifestyle and if that's in place then the results will come obviously it's all based on a healthy body but it's really what he loves doing mm -hmm. and and that's why he's out on the practice court and that's why he enjoys these moments well look just look at that how, that's how many victories and some, some really close ones and look at the Andy Roddick one do you remember that 16 14 he only broke him in the last game it's the only break of serve that Roger got in that match and I think there was uh, one of the other times I remember speaking to uh, uh, Roddick they had a rain delay and they walked uh, back to the locker room and it was one set all and Roddick was following Federer and he said he looked at Roger and he said after two sets he wasn't sweating <laughs> and he said Roddick himself said he had gone through about four, uh, four shirts at that stage 
and he was totally psyched out afterwards. But, uh, yeah, he's come through some unbelievable matches. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you shouldn't forget in 2008 when he lost to Nadal. I think that was one of the best matches I've mm -hmm. ever seen. But to have been in 11 Wimbledon finals and come out on top eight well, times is impressive yeah. stats. Well, we've looked.